Hi, everyone. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to just start early to get the camera lighting situation uh, a little bit better than what it is. Hope everyone's doing great. I am here, much cooler than before. <laughs> Last week, thankfully, I had a video, so I didn't have to worry about sitting here trying to be in the heat too much. Hi, Heather. I'm glad you made it to your destination. Now you can go shopping, huh? You can put your house together, get your craft space going. I think that'll work. Yeah. Let's see. Hi, Tony. Good morning. How you doing? Do y'all hear the fan? You barely made it. Whoa, Lord. But you made it. I'm just going to drink some water. I'm glad you made it, though. Today is Operation Find That Beep. Some beeping going on. And it's bugging the crapola out of me. Bugging the crapola out of me. Nope, you don't even see my pants. I actually don't have on my um, crafting uniform today. You don't hit a fence, thank you. Because I feel like I'm going through the the many changes of life. Because <laughs> the air conditioner broke last year, last week, two weeks ago, last week. Not this Friday, just past the previous Friday going into Saturday morning. And it was hot. And so here I am trying to cool off, you know, cool off, cool off and uh, get it together. So today what I thought we would do, we're going to do some of the same stuff we did last week. Uh, just to get our feet back into it. I want to start right at nine, but you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. I have this. stamp set that I got for 87 cents, 87 cents, Hobby Lobby, 87 cents, uh, last year, 2018, was it 18, 20, I don't remember, I don't know what these numbers mean, but anyway, I got it, it could have been last year, five, eight, I don't know, and I was like, 87 cents, sign me up, sign me on up, and it's supposed to look like this, but no darlings, no, 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 we're not going to do that. <laughs> this is my first time using it. What I thought we could do is create a background with this one. This image, this light is the 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 glare is crazy today. It won't be for long though. We're using our new favorite friend, the rocker block, and I just want to make sure it's acrylic and not um yes acrylic. So we're good to go got this one because it's the full stamp and I thought we would color it okay not um <laughs> layer it up today not today at least and so I got the sheets of paper I, I came prepared prepared and I think we're gonna do pink I got pink right here and then I also have blue And I might have a purple that's open in archival link or oh, that's blue as well. I thought I had a purple, but I was wrong. Gray and black. All right, so I'm going to take this whole entire sheet of paper and create background, okay? And this is not open. Not open. So we're going to have fuchsia, vibrant fuchsia as our background. And then I'm going to stamp this on some regular paper. Good morning, fussy cut it out. And oh my goodness, create a uh a card. We're gonna layer it. Okay. I hope it comes out good. I haven't did this before in this manner, so wish us luck. And we're gonna have uh generational stamps. It's a big image. Can't do generational. I see. This thing is thirsty, y'all. Very thirsty. So we're going to go ahead and just do what, you know, needs to be done real quick. I'm going to cut it down. 
I'm going to cut it down to size because I don't want to waste any more ink or paper. I already started the day with a favorite word. Yes. <sighs> I know. Y'all, listen. I had to get my air conditioner replaced, right? Like they had to take the air conditioner out and replace it. Oh, talk about a lot of money. That's all I'm going to say. A lot of money I don't have. <laughs> so I'm about to be go stand in the blood bank. No, I'm joking. Well, I might not be. No, I am kind of. I'm serious, but not really. So, yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, even though selling some of my stamp stuff, my craft supplies will not cover the cost. If you see me peddling stuff and you like it, go ahead and support me and buy the junk, okay? <laughs> I might sell some junk journals. I might sell the big roommate and the little roommate. Oh, yes. Here we go. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if I like this pink. I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong, but this is bold. Is it not bold? That's pretty bold. We're going to keep it. We're going to mess this other side up first then, I suppose. Let's do this. Yeah. All right. Somehow my finger slipped into it. You would never. I sure would. I would. The way I feel right, Samara, right now, Samara, I sure would. I sure would in a heartbeat. Package deal or per. The only thing I'm not trying to sell right now is Nicholas. Because he ain't got no foot in the game. He was a little trooper the whole time. His little nose. It was so hot. His nose was hot. It was hot in here. The temperature upstairs was 92 degrees. And downstairs it was 86. I would sell him in a heartbeat, girl. Right now? Hmm. The way I'm feeling about them fools, I sure would. Like I said, I would sell them in a heartbeat. But you probably go to jail for selling people, so. I take it back, kind of. Now, if someone stole them, I would be upset. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the difference between getting rid of them and then someone coming and taking your property. So, yeah, I'm not about that life. If y'all don't have a rocker block, let me tell you. The last time I told y'all about that, I went to Goodwill. Guess who had rocker blocks for $3? Goodwill. I bought them. There were sizes I didn't have. I think it's like six, seven different sizes. But it's good to have this. Now, this is a layering stamp, so it won't... I don't feel like I, I could do a layering project properly with this particular... Um, set up see this is pretty i think this is a much prettier thing than the other way and now we're gonna pull out i hope i have a small little block do i no this is too big oh but it will work sure will work so anyway um i think I think I'm going to have to go on a no spend. Whew, that hurts my feelings to say. <sighs> no, I'm joking. It don't hurt my feelings to say. And I'm not joking about not spending money. I need to save money to pay for the air conditioner. Because, <laughs> you know, um, I'm not rich and I don't have $1,400, $1,312. dollars It was between, yeah, I think I, 11 $1200, $1200, dollars $1300. I don't remember the price, but it was somewhere along there. I don't have I don't I don't have it in the bank sitting. Um some people may, I don't. And I don't consider ac buying a new air conditioner a rainy day fund. Good morning, Chocolate City Sims, so I couldn't use my savings for that, especially when they gave us credit with, you know, some interest on it. So Good morning. How you doing today, ma'am? Hopefully well. Now, do I like that? I like this, yeah. So now we're going to take this. There we go. And we're going to use mode lawn. And I think I'm going to do a second generation just to see first. 
How y'all all doing? Anybody uh crafting? I start to craft me some tea this morning. Wait, did you say hundreds or thousands? On what? The air conditioner? Thousands. 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 Okay, so this is... Oh, that looks okay. That looks good. Yeah, I think we'll do this one. Thousands. 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 <laughs> Thousands. <laughs> Yeah, thousands. Hey, Deb, how you doing today? Hopefully well. And let's see. Can we can we pull this off? I don't think we'll be able to pull this off. This is a weird place to place that stem. You know why? Yeah, that's a very weird place because... Let me see something. Yeah, because they want you to like fussy cut this out and um no they are not. No, what are not? I'm I missed it. Air conditioner not you. Oh no, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> and you know I live in Texas, so if you don't have air, you have to be doing some type of drug, right? And I'm not talking about vehicle air, I mean like in your house. Like if you, the only way you don't have air is if you don't live in a place and you live under the bridge. And we have a lot of homeless people here currently, which is a very bad situation. I, my heart goes out to them. Um, when my aunt was saying I used to go visit her in Houston, it was signs all over. It's like, please don't give the homeless money. Um, it's other ways to help. And in a way, it makes you feel really bad. Well, you may not feel bad, but, you know, in general, it's a bad feeling to see someone struggling and not being able to take care of themselves. But I was talking to Chris. I'm not sure she's going to show up or not. Uh, I think it was the day before yesterday. Did I leave the house yesterday? No, I didn't leave the house yesterday. So day before yesterday, I had ran an errand or two. And we were talking about how they come and they clean up the encampments, the uh, homeless camps. And they said that they had come out, the Haven for Hope had came out a month before they were getting ready to clean up the camp. And it was like, hey, anyone, you know, we have help for you. You just got to do this. And, you know, um, you got to be willing to help yourself. You have to be willing to help yourself. And if you're not, then there you are. And I had told her, like I said, I don't really believe in giving money to homeless people anymore. And I told her, when I was younger, my aunt and I were going somewhere and I, I'm going to use this gray color. It is called uh, Morning Mist by Versafine. I think to be honest about this, shh, don't tell nobody, don't tell Brandy, right? This is probably my favorite ink of all time. Like I really enjoy it. I think I enjoy it now more so because I can, uh, I can stamp out my photopolymer stamps and not be mad. Yeah, because this used to be, this brand used to be my favorite ink. But if this is not my favorite, it's a close second. Okay, just keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, here is the lesson of uh, reading is fundamental as well. I had bought these a while back. I think I even got some on clearance, I think. But these were on sale. You know, this is back when Hobby, the Pope wasn't extinct. And you could buy paper for cheap at Hobby Lobby. So this was $5. I paid $5 for it. I was like, oh, I get 50 cards. You don't. You get 50 flat cards and 50 envelopes. So here we are with a whole bunch of flat cards. That I have taken to using as cut aparts. And what I mean by cut apart, I stamp on it and I cut it apart. <laughs> so that's where we are today. That's what we do it. I'm gonna do two of them. So one and then two. And I'm using this gray, even though I still had this pink on here. I'm using the gray to allow us to uh 
color how we want to. And this gray acts like a light black, if that's a thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite ink, Deb? Is it still stamp a Stampin' Up product? What about you, Heather? Samara, what do, what do y'all use? Tony, whoever wants to answer that uses ink, I, I, you know, if you have a favorite ink, let, let me know. Because I'm always willing to try a different ink to see. Right now, it's the verse. Oh, oh, okay. I even, so I did a swap with somebody, right? And it, we were swapping stamped images. And I was like, okay. Like, when I do swaps, I really don't need to receive anything unless it's something, like, specially made for me that we're doing a special made project. But, like, if it's stamped images, it has to be images that I don't own, right? But she was, like, she was real snooty with it, the person that I swapped with. And I got offended, but I was like, you know what? This is this person's preference, so blah, 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 blah. And I realized that sometimes when you do swaps with people, they may have never had the thing. First of all, Onyx for most. Ooh, I've never heard of that one. Hold up. Do I even have an Onyx? No. Heather. So let's back up a little bit. Yeah, that's the one I mean. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm going to have to write this down. First of all, Onyx. I don't have Onyx. I have to buy that. As I say, I'm going on a no spin, right? Um, but I have birthday money. I have birthday and Christmas gift cards. So I went to Michael's. I'm going to do a haul. It's, it's not much, but I, I thought it was going to be cool. I will like it. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot. Only thing is, it's hard to clean off the stamp. It's a really nice deep black. Oh, see, I like the one I have, but I don't know what the heck the name of it is. And I can't find it. Uh, it's okay. I'm going to do some light shading, I think. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to use marker or crayon, color pencil. I want to go towards the color pencil. I want to just color it like a light shade all the way out. And we could try to cheat the system. You know what? Let's try to cheat the system real quick. Good morning, Chris. How you doing today? Y'all, I have to be off by a specific time or we have to take a small break and... um. I have a doctor's appointment on the phone. I'm not sure if I told you. I probably didn't. But I have been having foot pain a lot. So I went to the doctor, got x-rays, and they said that I have um, arthritis in my foot and plant uh, bone spur. So y'all like this purple? I know Samara probably like it. This is called Seedless Preserve. Let's see. Yeah, we're just going to cheat the system. Why not, right? So anyway, I have a phone call appointment. Um, I usually end, you know, I've been trying to end early because my internet flakes out on me, goes in and out, in and out, in and out. So it's safer to just be out. Uh, bone spurs are no fun. I had them as a teenager on both heels. Oh, that sucks. Good morning, Mac Daddy J. How you doing? I'm sorry to hear you're having. Thank you. Yeah, I, you know, I just be trying to push forward though. But sometimes, you know, you can't. You just got to say, let me sit down and be still. But when you do mostly everything, you can't really do that because you don't have nobody to rely on. So that's the one thing I want to try this little cheat method, cheater method. I think we're going to go back in. And uh, do a little bit of highlighting. And then we're going to do a method where we color. Um, I'm okay. I have, besides a doctor's appointment. Um, how are y'all? How's everybody doing today, darlings? I think I'm going to go with a little bit of a lighter color. I want to do a little, I want this one, lighter color. I want it to be orange. That's pretty. Um, bone spur. You have bone spurs too. Get a tennis ball and roll it under your foot. Girl. Ain't. <laughs> Ain't. All right. So we're going to use these two colors. We're going to use this and this. Listen, 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 y'all. 
this is definitely a uh, enabler alert, what I'm about to tell y'all. So a couple of years ago, two years ago, I think, three, four, I don't know how long ago, I had saw these pencil sharpeners at the Dollar Tree. I never got them. I may have gotten it and got rid of it. Now that the thing's a dollar and a quarter, I bought it. I got me one and I got the little roommate one uh, for school. But he'll sharpen a, he'll take a brand new pencil and sharpen it to the nub so he can't have his. These cost a dollar and a quarter, three triple A batteries, and you get this kind of point. It sharpens really well. Let's see. My doc told me the same thing, Chris. Yeah. Good morning, Pink Bay. How you doing? Yeah. I'm, I'm probably, I have a, I have a orthopedic consult, so I'm sure they'll send me to the physical therapy and have me doing that lovely thing. So first we're going to take our yellow and we're just going to color over it like this. I'm going for a orangey peach pink color for this flower. A lot of colors, I know. So you don't have to be nice and neat because it's, it doesn't need to be precise because we're going to first cut out, right? And then we're going to take this pink color. And you see how we didn't get everything colored in right here? Yeah, my mom has plantar fasciitis. However, this is spelled. <laughs> no, it, yeah. Uh, we'll see. I, um, I have, like... I've told y'all before I have musculoskeletal issues really bad. So this one, I was uh, being a domestic goddess and cleaning up some stuff. And I was just standing there. And I was like, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Because I was having some pain at the moment. I'll be all right. Now, the only thing that makes this look kind of cheap <laughs> is that it's not, it's uniformed. And normally when I color a larger surface, I'd like to color in all the things. So you can see like the, some of the streaks, like right here, it's giving us streaks dialing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over it and color. I'm sorry you're having so much pain and troubles. You know what? Um, thank you so much, Deb. I think that sometimes... You're supposed to not have a great this or great that. Just so you could remember when you are having a fabulous time that it could be worse. Because, you know, some people have lived life and never had any issues or problems. And then other people have had a lot of problems. But you just got to keep going. Keep pushing and believing that you're going to have an amazing time. And I like to see the glass half full most of the time. Like I, I told my friend, I was like, I always give my day, myself one day to have a pity party, but just one. Because the next day I'm waking up like, who who do I have to, what what do I have to do to get out of this this situation? But sometimes it's okay to just sit in that, ugh, that muck. And be like, okay, this is, a, this is a crappy situation. It could be worse though. All right, so we're going to use our fancy sharpener, our $1.25 sharpener. Bam, look at that. So I'm going to do the same technique with that one. You are right, though. Having some troubles makes you appreciate the good times even more. Exactly. I don't know any of those people that never have. You know, it's so funny, Deb. We have friends in our circle, right, in our in our world, that they may never have had uh, lost a loved one, Right. I'll tell y'all this quick story. I always have stories, I know. When my mom um, first passed away, I moved to San Antonio. And um, her passing was still fresh. I mean, it's still like it was yesterday, honestly. Um, I don't know how you can get over something like that. But nonetheless, I had told my coworker, I had a lot of coworkers at this place, but... Um, I told my coworker, and he was like, well, <laughs> people that say stupid stuff, you know, they've never had that type of uh, affordance of losing someone, right? <sighs> he said, well, the Bible says, he was a big 
Bible church gore. Nothing wrong with that. I appreciate I appreciated his attempt, right? But sometimes I think you just shut up and let the person sit there in their pain or whatever. Because you never get over the loss of a loved one. They're never coming back, right? Um, so He was like, you know, uh, you shouldn't be so sad that she's not here anymore, blah, blah, blah. This is what the Bible teaches you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm not as versed as he was in the Bible, but I'm I'm pretty versed, right? Like, I've opened it up and read the first. I read Genesis, okay? All right. I know what the Bible says about putting man before God and loving no more, loving people stronger than you love God, but also believe that in the Bible, it says that you're supposed to honor thy mother and father. I mean, I could have misinterpreted that part. So, you know, me honoring my mom and mourning her death is, you know, especially since it was so fresh. Do I think about her still to this day? And it's been a long, long time. Absolutely. freaking lutely Her and my aunt, uh, I think about quite often. Because now with my son, I'm like, I need to take this boy somewhere because he's getting on my freaking nerves. And they're not here for me to drop him off and be like, I'll see y'all next month. Uh, and that's not a joke. Uh, if any of my friends live closer besides Chris and she has her own two little uh, children, I would be like, hey, let me drop this dude off at your house for a few. And I guess more so the people that I grew up with, like knowing or whatever. But now I'm good. I just go go away from me is what I tell him. And he goes away from me and comes right back like five seconds later. And he's like, um, he want to talk. Hi, um, her own two little uh, bundles. Of, yeah, you you say I can't have him because I was for him. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so, you know, I told him, I said, I'm glad that you're fortunate enough to never have had this type of pain that I feel right now. And he kind of looked at me. I said, I hope that you never have to go through this anytime soon because it's not something that you can learn from. a, You know, you can't learn this from the Bible, trying to push the Bible on people talking about uh the Bible says I was I was furious with him. A few people say people say dumb stuff when they when when they don't know what to say. And sometimes you know what if you don't know what to say, just shut up. It's okay. You don't have to know what to say. No one's asking you for answers. No one's saying, "Hey, give me the answer. Give me the answer. Give me the answer." I know I didn't. I tell you all the time. Now nah. the other day he was like, "I want to go live with Miss Chris." I said, "She got her own two kids to deal with. She don't want to deal with you." I'll be good there. You need to be good here, fool. You think she's going to let him get away with murder? I also believe that you will let him get away with murder. This is nice. This could be a nice fall card. Yeah, it's one thing to say they're in a better place, but not to let you feel your pain. It's not okay, right? It's not okay. Um, It's not okay. That's why, you know, since we share similar things, I always, when I, you know, I told you, I tell people now, go get in the car and drive and scream and cry. Go eat some ice cream. Like when my mom passed, um, we used to go to Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen, and sit in the car and watch cars pop. You know, we used to people watch. So sometimes when I'm feeling in a, a very bad mood, I'll go to Dairy Queen. Even though Dairy Queen it's crap right now where I live. It's not the best. Uh, and, you know, I'll eat the ice cream and I'll just sit there. And even though she's not there, I look over and I just reflect on the times that we sat in the car and talked about nothing. Because it's not always the gems that they give you, but also the stupid stuff that y'all talk about. Because that's what makes you laugh. Pink, these girls are wild. You may see me being on Snap in a few years. Lord have mercy. Um, June is a hard month for me, both my mother and father. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Deb. My grandmother died. My aunt just let me have a full breakdown at home. I felt like the hell. Yeah. Yeah, Deb. I'm so sorry to hear that. I didn't know both. I I don't know why I thought your mom was in May. 
And even with that, you know, it was a hard time. It was doing COVID, just rough. So we're going to do two, two, right? But we're going to talk about some happy, happy thoughts. Always happy memories of our loved ones, right? Always happy memories. All right, I'm looking for a green marker. So I went to uh, Five and Below yesterday. I bought this thing. I want to try. Okay. It's okay. June 7th for my dad. That was a long while. Oh, and June 15th. Oh, so right there. Yes, happy things. Now, when I get those funks, I make their favorite meals. Yeah, and I ain't cooking. Mom, well, you know what? Um, So, a secret, y'all. A secret I'm about to share with y'all. Let's see if this green gonna look right. No, I want it to be darker green. Um, My mom used to always complain about my cooking, right? Because I like soft eggs. Soft eggs. Oh, no, this might be too dark. Let's try this one. And what I mean by soft eggs is I like to put the butter. Don't 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 come for me, people that don't like butter. I use butter. Butter in the skillet, let it get um, hot. And I just put the eggs in. I told Chris this and I'll I'll whip it in the thing. My mom, I grew up with my mom whipping the eggs in the in the bowl and then pouring the whipped eggs into the container. I'm like, cut out the middleman, whip that stuff up in the uh, in the on the <laughs> in the skillet, right? And then I'll take some cheese and I'll sprinkle a cheese on there. And I like soft eggs because I grew up with burnt looking eggs a lot. You know, black crispy bacon. Some people like the bacon. The crispier it is, the better. I'm not that person. I want my bacon to uh, have, I don't want it to be burnt, shriveled up. I want it to be a slat, a, you know, a stick of bacon. Uh, maybe try laying the markers. I, it ain't going to work because the... Um, the color I'm going for is, is in between these two. So I need to be in between those two and not a blend, but I need to see my little guy. I will not, not let him get away with murder. He would entertain. No, no, no. You know, he just went to sleep two hours ago, seven something. He said he's not sleeping. I'm about to take him to get him a job. He think he grown. That's what's really about to happen. Yeah, I need a I need a color lighter than that one. Yeah. Maybe if I try yellow and green, it might work. Yeah, so we're about to be looking for a job for him. I could just color it darker a few times. Yeah, let's try that. It's interesting they had these stamps. This stamp set was 87 cents on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I got it last year, I believe. Year before last. I don't remember. 18? Like, I go to Hobby Lobby to eye the stuff, so when it goes on clearance, I can be like, yeah, I'm going to get that, that, and that. <laughs> Not very nice, but that's my plan. Deb, I went to Hobby Lobby looking for some bead, beading stuff, some jewelry findings. They was like, find me. I feel like Hobby Lobby is the same size, but the section that I like, they have decreased. I know the paper aisle at one of the Hobby Lobbies. It used to be a whole aisle, now it's an end cap. Times are changing. People don't scrapbook anymore, I guess. Everybody in the making tumblers and shirts. Like, I remember when Michaels turned their cricket, they had a cricket section. Maybe you could layer a pencil on top. I could try that. I could definitely try that. But I'm liking this color, so I'm going to go back over it and see. I really don't want to fussy cut it out to be quite honest with you. She don't like fussy cutting. I do it often, though. Yeah, this is a good, this, this will work. You know, I always complain about finding a good yellow. I need a good yellow. So today is Tuesday, you know, Taco Tuesday. Anyone getting tacos today? I don't think I will be. I want some, though. 
actually what I want is a chimichanga or a enchilada. Don't you have a scanning cut? I do. Everything is crooked now. Exactly. I haven't been there for a while. Yeah, I think the paper craft and the jewelry making sections are shrinking very much so. I am carless today. It's in for inspection. Oh, nice. Not that you're carless, but it's getting taken care of. That's always a plus, right? You won't be driving down the road and your bumper fall off. As an example. Yeah, I um I haven't been there in a couple of weeks now. Chris has sent sent me on an errand that she could have did herself. You know what she said? You go there more than I do. I do, but still. We could have met there and had shawarma. So yeah, I want um enchiladas with rice. That's what I want. I don't make enchiladas. But I could try. I remember my mom made some enchiladas before. Do y'all ever remember y'all moms in the kitchen with a recipe book or like ingredients on how to make stuff? And I'm I'm trying to think back. I don't think I had lasagna that much. But enchiladas I did have. I didn't like beans then growing up. So uh, beans are wasted on me. Still now I don't really care for beans. No, yeah, you could have went yourself and you could have been like, hey, I'm at a Hobby Lobby. You want to meet? Speaking of, it's this place called the Cajun, no, the Crawfish Cafe. Look it up and tell me if you want to go there. Not as um, I'm inviting you, but we can meet there. Because they got $3 signs. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> the big roommate was like, you can go with Chris there. I was like, I didn't want to go with you no way. Some of the food look real good and then some of the food don't look good. My mom used recipes for desserts sometimes, but not for dinners. Mm -hmm. My mom never used recipes. No idea how that woman knows so much. I don't think I ever had lasagna until I was out of my own and made it myself. Really? So listen, everybody was complaining. Big roommate, little roommate. I think even my aunt was here. They were like, you never make lasagna. Blah, 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 blah. So I make the dang lasagna. They don't eat it all. Now, the little roommate's like, you never make lasagna, mommy. You're right. I'm not going to make lasagna. That stuff takes a lot of time and effort. Yeah. I'm trying to think because my mom made uh, the enchiladas before. And I don't think she used a recipe either. But like if she was trying something like, you know, how McCormick, but I'm older, so. You know, McCormick used to come out with all those different things. So maybe she followed that recipe to um, make it work. I don't know. Versifying Onyx. Hmm, interesting. The bad part about going to Michael's for craft supplies is they don't have good coupons. And when I want something, I want it. You know, it's my money. I want it now. I want to go there and get it then but they don't be having it on sale michael's haven't had a good sale since uh covid happened though let's see my mom and uh, let's see that's sweet he thinks of me girl that was a really good greek restaurant or near addison somewhere i never had greek food before that oh greek food is so delicious you can freeze it and heat it up later lasagna yo yeah but my son didn't like it we want lasagna. We use buy pre-made one of those. Uh, so with my son, whenever he's introduced to a new food, he doesn't like, unless it's like a cake, like he's never met a sweet he didn't love, right? But if it's something, um, a food and it has like a lot, you know, lasagna has a lot of textures to it. He has to warm up to it. He's like, uh, what is this? 
I had made this. So I wanted a walk. Don't ask me why, but I wanted one. I got one. And I wanted to make a bunch of stir fry foods, right? Like saute shrimp with the scallions, all that stuff. Um, so I got a walk and I had made this meal. I don't remember what it was, what was in there. I think it was cabbage, shrimp, and some other stuff. I don't remember. Uh, like diced shrimp. I think it was diced, so it could have just been the the smaller shrimp. And I made it. And I made a lot of it. And I thought it was going to last for like a day and a half. Because, you know, if you're the only person cooking, you get tired of cooking all the time. Uh, it's not fair. It's not fair to have the same person cook multiple times. At least be like, hey, you need me to chop up the potatoes. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I made it and I don't know what it was. I still want to walk. I'm not getting rid of my walk. <laughs> uh, where did I get mine from? Let me think. I want to say if I didn't get it from Kohl's, I got it from like Marshall's or something. This is so bold. It's like, listen, you cannot use that little puny yellow. We're going to have to go over this again, y'all, with a, diff a deeper. Then we use seedless preserve. We're going to have to go over it with this wild violet, I think, to make it darker. Um, Cole's Kitchen seems a little small. It has gotten smaller. I'm not sure what they're replacing it with because it seems like it's a bunch of rubbish now. It could it could be that they are replacing it with a bunch of rubbish clothes and stuff like that. I usually try to go to Kohl's and look in their clearance section in the kitchen area because they usually have something I'm like, oh, I want that. Um, the last thing I got from Kohl's was a, a air fryer. I used it yesterday. I was teasing uh, Chocolate City Sim because she always like, yeah, I put this in the air fryer for this amount of minutes and blah, 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 blah. Kohl's seems like it's a fancy Dollar General, always crammed full of stuff with no real organization. This Coles, the I when I lived in Virginia, the Coles in Virginia made me love Coles. It was so nice, and the people were nice, and it was just amazing. You spill crushery from a big old Kmart, so that tells you how long ago I lived in Virginia, huh? I think we talked about this last week. A week before last, stores closing in your time. Macquarie's used to be a big, de not Macquarie's, Woolworth. Woolworth used to be a big department store downtown. And we take the city bus because we didn't have a car. We take the city bus on the weekends. Not every weekend, but on the weekends. And we go to the library, the public, the downtown public library, big giant library. Um, then we go to Woolworth. I get to look around. My mom buy me junk sometimes. Uh, then we probably go to Purple Heart. Purple Heart used to be a, a thrift store. Now I think Purple Heart is like a salvation, not a salvation army, a place for people that need stuff. Uh, yeah, Kmart was great for a long time. And then, yeah, it's really hard nowadays. There aren't many places that have nice things or anything for the kitchen anymore. Bed Bath & Beyond just went out of business. Yep, so we have Target walmart coles you know what deb if you um like burlington i go to burlington sometimes and look and i also go to marshall's marshall's even though it's a discount store marshall's is uppity right so it has pretty decent things for fancy store prices and so i always have to just look really deep into whether or not i'm gonna get it this paper is flimsy y'all so if you do use those flat cards keep that in mind i don't need it to be that sturdy but it's very weak for these little vines like this outer part is good but the little vines are no um are bad marshall's is it's not the cheap it's the most high end of the discount stores right no burlington you know, oh yeah i forgot a home good yeah home goods also you know what you could try it used to be called garden ridge 
furniture, but they changed it to what? Home? The home store? You can try them. I don't go there that much because those people are expensive. I don't know who they are. Thinking that they are getting so expensive, but they are expensive. So I don't go there. Around the holidays, maybe I'll walk in and see. Because I like to look, even if I'm not going to buy anything, I'd still like to look and see if they have stuff that slipped through the cracks and uh, is a de- a decent price. I'm always looking for like um, multiples of stuff because the school seems to think that the parents are rich and they have our kids in 2011 classes with 2011 teachers. So I feel obligated to buy all of them a gift. So I need to find inexpensive gifts that don't look like they're cheap. And I consider making them stuff, but I'm like, nah. I don't feel like if I handcraft something for somebody, it's I want to know that they're going to appreciate it, not 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 appreciate it. Last Christmas, I don't they told my son thank you, but they know that boy ain't got no money. I didn't get a thank you at all. But I got a thank you for the teacher appreciation gifts from some of them. So, yeah. So I don't want to sit there and make 10 handmade items and they um can't find in their hearts to say thank you. What Macy's for what Macy's for me is still here. Yeah, Macy's is still around and it's I don't know what did I cut this leaf? Oh well shoot. I knew that's gonna happen anyway. Um Macy's is an interesting entity, is it not? Because one minute they said they're in trouble and the next minute they're doing this and then the next minute like if Macy's goes out of business We won't have any staple stores besides like local stores that you may remember, like Winn-Dixie, Piggly Wiggly. I never had those. Those are more uh, mid-south, right? Uh, Or going north, I should say. East, east, excuse me, east. Going northeast. When I lived in Mississippi, they had a Winn-Dixie. I was like, what in the heck? And like Florida has Publix, but those aren't staples. I mean, staples are like, you know about them because everyone has them kind of staples and not the store that sells staples. Our ghost of a mall has Macy's and a local department store called Bosco's. The reason is turning into a medical center and close up. You know what? Our work, so we have three malls here that I know of. One is called um, Ingram Mall. And Ingram is the middle mall, right? Like the, not the middle class, but the middle price mall. Uh, they have fancy stuff in there, but it's not as fancy as the fanciest one. And they call it the boot mall, but it's actually called something else. And I can't remember the name right now. Chris may know the name because we live in the same city. And then they have another one called Malls of America. And Malls of America has Burlington Coat Factory. It used to have Bills or Belks, not Belks, Bills, but I think they went out of business. And then they have like this little bootleg kids bounce spot in there, unless that one's gone. They have Hobby Lobby. They have Ross. It's a Target on the other side of it. Like inside, you can get to it. And they have a few more stores, like local stores that only exists here they have like the sports sporting goods store and every time one closes like when COVID was rampant right and everybody was trying to attempt to do something I don't know um they had shots and they had surveys and they have all this stuff so like whenever something medical happens that's what they have and they have like little festivals downstairs so that's like the the lower end mall north store yeah north store Florida has Winn-Dixie. North Carolina still has Piggly Wiggly. There's one of the craziest wants to have their party at. I was in Galleria. Yeah, in in Houston, it's the Galleria as well. What do you mean? That's where one of the craziest wants to have their party. At the the bounce place in Mall of America? A Wonderland, excuse me, Wonderland Mall. Now, when I was younger, I had heard that it was a mall that stayed open 24 hours. I want to go to that mall. Because I want to go to the mall at 10 o'clock and see what's the difference between 10. Lord have mercy. I bought my Tavana stuff there, but I don't think that's around anymore. 
No, T- Tavana is Starbucks. Uh, so you can go to the Starbucks website and get some of the Tavana stuff. But it's gone out of business as well. I talked about that. Lord have mercy. I mean, it's a safe environment. They, I don't know. I have pictures of my son going there and this big kid tried to push him. I was like, it's time to go before I had to beat somebody kid up. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't poke me. Yeah. A lot of stuff is going out of business. The older you get, you realize you're the only thing that's left standing. So we're going to come back on here with this uh, wild, what I call it? Wildlife wilted violet, Lord. I pull out one of my platform stamps and try the layering on this because I feel like it would be really pretty. But I think this is fine too. And if I have a good little glitter marker, not marker, uh, pen purple. Yeah, I like Tavana. I um, I, it's so funny. I told the story last week when I had went by. I was like, oh, I like tea. What kind of tea bags you got? And the guy was like, we don't sell tea bags here. It's all loose leaf tea. Like he was better than me. I, I um left and went to Mississippi. Came back. And when I came back, it was out of business. But it was another tea spot in that location. Another, like, fancy tea spot. And then it was out of business as well now. And then they used to have daggone Disney store. It's gone. Because I, I had went there and I got um, Princess Tiana, the little baby doll. And I had got Anna and Elsa. Uh... And then it had so like a whole row of dolls that I was like, should I get these? I was like, no, because I was really into Frozen at one point. Um, and then I was like, why are you buying these little kid toys? I was like, collector items. They're going to cost some money. I can sell them. <laughs> I may be able to sell them, pay off my air conditioner. No, I know I won't be able to do that, but that's why I had got them. We only sell loose leaf tea here, half flip. I have some of their tea steel. Me too. It's supposed to be good for longevity. I better get that out and use it. Um, as long as you keep it in the tins, look, I'm losing this battle. One wants the trampoline. The other one wants to pump it up. Uh, so the, the difference between... Um, The loose tea, from what he was telling me um, about the long, the life cycle, is that you got to keep it in a metal tin, Deb. So if you got it in a metal tin, it's good to go. I actually had bought some of the German rock sugar. I still use that. I hate tea, to be honest. It tastes like grass from the country. My mom drinks from the ones. Well, you got the wrong tea, sweetie. <laughs> you need something a little bit more, less grassy. I like Lipton. It's not it's not loose. It's in the bag. And I used to like that we would take pickle jars and get the sugar and fill it with water and put the tea in there and shake it up and put it outside on the back porch. All right. Can y'all see that little sparkle barkle? I like the peach tea. It has an awful taste. Peach has a... Uh, yeah, peach peach drinks have a horrible taste afterwards. Except for when I lived in Italy. Now, see, this is this is a little bit too much, y'all. I feel like this is a good card by itself. What y'all think? Or do y'all think this is fine? We're gonna try this. See, let's see. Peach has a horrible taste afterwards. It's not a very good taste. I think that's why I like the smell of peach, but I don't drink a lot, eat or drink a lot of peach stuff besides cobbler and peach tea. That's really all I mess with from peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So we're going to leave this alone. And I'm just going to stamp this little stamp right here. <laughs> 
I swear. By the moon and the stars. I think. Hello. Oh, thinking of you right there will go great. This little stamp set is a self-sufficient one, is it not? I'll ask you later to recommend me some good tea. Uh, I like fufu tea, so I might not be the right person. I'm gonna show y'all this tea I got. I'm gonna, I'll be right back in the few. I'm gonna do it after I stamp this on. I'm gonna stamp it right on, right on. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Mm, shoot. All right, let's see. My eyes are not the best. I'm nervous. There we go. Tazo lemon leaf loaf tea. Yeah, I use it's this place where I go. They have loose tea. That's why I learned about steeping the tea in a little steeper. Like when you talk about getting fancy with tea, honey. Woo. Thinking of you, darling. All right. It stamped out pretty good. See, we didn't made a whole card. <laughs> we didn't even know it. Like me being a poet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this might not work. This might not work in our favor. It will, though. It's going to work. It's crooked, but it's working. Yes, we're thinking of you. Now, I think what I could do, I think I could come over here. Uh, let's try not to ruin it, though, okay? Let's try not to ruin it. It's too bright. Hmm. Jump in. Do y'all ever get an ear wig and you just have to say the word that's in your head? I do that a lot uh, when it comes to music because it'd be stuck in my head. And it seems like, I mean, you know, songs are created from words, but dang. Oh, this looks good. Let's see. Could we try? Yeah. Did I just put this up? No, these are the same things. I'm trying to find my dang marker. I cannot find it. You know, so I got a Christmas present in Christmas, Christmas time. And I was review. I found the video finally. So I'm going to be releasing it. I was like, I'm going to release it in July because Christmas in July. And I was looking at the video and I was like, oh, this is what I got. One of the things I got, right? And I have it. I randomly keep random stuff on my desk from people. Uh, yeah. Anyway. It always kind of slides out. Let's see. This one will work. And I think we use this yellow. Did you organize your table like you said? Or is, it, is that plan postponed? I actually have a beeping sound in the house. In, in this area that I'm going to be uh doing so i did organize the table somewhat not enough i'm scared she's scared let's just do these leaves these leaves oh no is this dead it's dead dang it i don't know if y'all can hear that beeping but it's been driving me insane the last couple of days i said like, you know what today is the day that i deconstruct everything Hmm. So much for this pen. I don't think I can hear it. No. Oh, uh, in a video that I had, I could hear it in the background that I released yesterday. No, the 18th. I could hear it. I'm like, this is driving me insane. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this to the side. We could have turned this into a postcard, but no. <laughs> All right, so I like this. Actually, I'm going to turn it, put this in a book. We're going to put this in a book, y'all. This is cool. This is very, very cool. We did good. Let's make a, let's make an actual 
thing, no, a card, okay, for these things right here. Now, how are we going to do that? I don't know. But I'm going to step away real quick, and I'll show you the tea that I recently bought. And it was so good when I made it. So, so, so good. I have an idea for this card, so I'll be right back. All right, can y'all hear me? Hopefully you can. So this is a tea that I recently bought. It's called Instant Honey Ginger Tea Lemon Flavor. It's really, really good. Really, really, really good. And uh, the only thing that's weird about the tea, it's like in little granules. And so I was like, I don't want that. I want a tea bag. But it's really good. When I finish um, today, I'm going to drink some. I'm having some discomfort in my, you know, I was in heat for a while. And then now that it's cold, I don't know. I don't know. I want to not complain too much. But, yeah. So, I think I have another uh, stamp that we could try and make that into the background, I think. Let's see. Oh, no. I am out with ginger. I do not like ginger. Yep, we can hear you. I think I had that tea before. Yeah, I did have that. Got it. Christmas tree shop. Oh, I love Christmas tree shop, Deb. Love how... Yeah, she'll be all right. I mean, I didn't tell her she had to drink the dang tea, did I? I said I like the tea. I like fufu tea. I'll try any tea with a pretty picture on there. Like... Lemons and doves and birds flopping around. I'm like, oh, let's try this tea. Uh, okay. I mean, you can't go wrong with lemon and ginger, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. But Chris can have her own little raggedy opinion. Everybody entitled to him. Ginger is healing. That's why I bought it. Because, you know, I told you I was having those feet issues. <laughs> I'm sitting here contemplating, do we want to try to make another background? It's raggedy. I said it. I said what I said. I sure did what? I woke up in a very funky mood. No, I'm joking. I woke up and I was thankful. I said, thank you, Lord, for all the wonderful blessings that you've given to me. All right. Um, maybe I could do a background. I'm trying to think of what we could do to that card. I don't want to use, I mean, I don't mind using other paper, but I was trying to show people how you could just use what you have, a stamp set or whatever, and you could create your own background. So I'm always like, I'm always hesitant to deviate from that thought process only because that's not what I was going for in the first place. If that makes sense to you all. 
And Chris, if I hurt your feelings, I apologize. It was not to hurt your opinion. I mean, hurt your, yeah, your feelings about your opinion on uh, Ginger. I actually have a reaction to Ginger in liquids. So I understand, uh, like sodas and stuff. Ginger ale, I can only drink a specific kind. I can't drink all of the ginger ale drinks. Um, I did not wake up being savage, but you know, I can. <laughs> I can be. But that's not the goal right now. The goal is for us to have a great time making cards. We're going to try this background one more time. And I think what I'm going to do, I think, I think, yeah, we're going to try it. Where is that? Mm -hmm. Right here. It's right here. Girl, if I was that soft skin, then we couldn't be friends. What you trying to say? Are you trying to say I'm always like that? That's what I took from that. And I am offended. Mm -mm -mm. You see, she's trying to come back for me, y'all. She said, I got the snap back for you. Whatever. 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 All right. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what she's saying. Okay. Because everybody laughing like, yeah, that's what she said. Wow. That's so not true, though. I'm I'm the nicest one. No. I'm probably the one that called out the mom. So it's four of us, right? And we're friends, but we're not all friends on the same level, of course, right? And, um... I think I'm probably the least crazy of all of them when it comes to the school. Um, and we're all crazy in our own right, right? But I don't get worked up like they do. When I tell y'all they get worked up, shoot, they be getting worked up. Like, I'll give you an example. Last year, the power went out at the school. A generator caught a fire, not on campus, but close by campus. And they was like, why didn't the school call me? Why didn't the school call me? I'm like, they can't call you. Well, why not? I'm like, they don't have your phone number? But so I, I say, so So this is what I said. And y'all tell me if I'm wrong for saying this. You want the school to take the time out or take care of everybody else to call you and let you know about your kid. Really? I, 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 left, it, I left it just like that just like that i didn't say anything else i said if that's what you think you know i always tell people i we're gonna agree to disagree but you're wrong like <laughs> your opinion right now is just that thought is flawed it makes no sense and i think sometimes people have told me that before and once you go back and think about your craziness you're like okay yeah you're right that was that's, that's a little bit crazy i don't know what i was really thinking because you know in the heat of the moment you're worried about your babies and all this other stuff but some of the stuff that they be saying, I'm like, I now you didn't got me all worked up. Like, why I shouldn't listen to your crazy? All right, we're gonna try this, y'all, and I'm gonna try this. We're gonna try this. Can we? Can we try this? Yeah, I think we can try this. Let's see. Uh, let's see, she's, I don't know, talking to parents because of the power going out doesn't make me, make sense to me. So, well, the school should have a, a blast system. They sent out a message. They didn't call each person individually. They sent out a, a group text message to all the people and said, hey, our power went out. Please stand by. Don't run up to the school and try to get your kid because we're trying to evacuate the students to safety. Girl, I said they could have texts like they do everything else. They sent out a message. They sent the message out. They sent the message out, right? But this is the thing. Hear, hear, hear me out. Just about all of us have been employed, right? If you've worked in a, a large area, you know that, well, I'm, I'm only going to speak from my experience. When we had 
things that we had to respond to. It wasn't a phone call first to see how everybody was going. It was a system that they had in place, like a backup generator system that we could go to the computer and press a button and send out the message. Whatever the message is, we can send out the message to everybody. And then as people responded, we activated the recall roster where people would call back and say, I got in touch with so-and-so, 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 and so-and-so, like the phone tree, basically. I did not get in touch with this person, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's how, in my head, the process was working for this whole thing. But you should have seen the messages that people were saying. Chris was one of them. Um, she said something crazy. I was like, that's why she, that's why she my friend, right? Because she freaking nuts. Uh, what the other stamp thing? We're going to put thinking of you again. But some of the other parents were just belligerent with the thing. Like, it was just... Why didn't anyone call me? I'm like, they can't call you. They're evac- Listen, if you want you to, if you want to be called about your child, I'm mad at you because my kid is in this teacher's presence and you worried about your funky butt being called. What about all the other 30 kids in the class? If they call you for little Earl, they can't do that. Like the, the, the thinking within these people is quite sometimes quite ridiculous like you should read some of the messages they delete the messages at the end of school year because they know we probably be talking about how crazy some of the parents are but if you read the message you'd be like these people didn't lost their mind let's see is this gonna fit it's not dang it um people went ham let's see besides it was me that i that one contact individually people went ham i feel so bad for the people them people they say stupid stuff. I'm tell when I tell y'all some of the stuff that the parents be saying, I'm like, are you you're not thinking clearly right now? Clearly, you're not thinking clearly, right? That's how I feel when they say stuff like that. Like one of the parents said they had a we're gonna put hell uh, thanks, I guess, on this one. Um, they had put out a message saying that they were gonna do these drills. They notified us that they were going to be doing the drills, you know, school evacuation, active shooter drills and stuff like that. I remember growing up, the only thing we ever had to do is get under the table with our heads in between our legs because it was a hurricane or a tornado. The fact that the kids have to cover the windows and stuff like that is just freaking scary to me. But that's another topic for another day that I'm not ready to broach right now. And um, they was like, you should tell us when you're going to have these drills. The shooter ain't going to be like, hey, I'm coming to shoot up the school tomorrow. Don't send your kid to school. So, you know, like when I tell you some of the stuff that they do, I'm like, and Chris, like Chris is very friendly. If y'all haven't realized that she be, she be up in the mix with everything. I don't be up in the mix with everything. Cause I'm, I'm like, I don't want to be up in the mix. I want to just kind of relax, relate, release. I can't be stressing. Like if you, I'm going to start getting stressed out because my baby there and, and you stressing me out. No, no, no. Let's see if this will fit. It does. It does. I think this would look so much better if uh, I would take the time to emboss this, but I don't. And she had told me something that one of the moms had said, and I was like, are you you serious that they said that? And she was like, yeah. I can't remember what it was. It was some foolishness. It's always, it's never legit complaints. It's never legit complaints. Because usually if you have a legit complaint, the teacher going to contact you and be like, listen, look, Billy did this. I didn't caught myself going down the road of dumb before because my son just said something. And I was like, well, let me call. Let me, I'm always like, let me write the teacher and see what she say. And then he's like, no, mommy, don't. Okay, then. Here we go. I'm opening up some um, cards just in case y'all wonder what that noise is. Oh, we can't use this. This is the shiny stuff. We can't use the shiny. Hold on. I normally have a little box of cards right next to me. We didn't use all the cards up, y'all. That's crazy. So I try not to get too upset. It's other stuff because I straight up told you wouldn't have. Yeah, I try not to um I try not to get involved with that because then my my question goes from <laughs> I don't know. I just try not to get involved. I'm gonna leave it right there. Cause you know we can all be dumb <laughs> at times. I'm sure I've 
been done with the teachers before. You're like, okay, she crazy. But, you know, my son, for me, when I was in school, I had straight A's or all A's and B's. So he needs to follow in mom's foot, footprints, right? Footsteps. And um, him not doing well in school is not the same plan that the school has. The teachers are like, well, he passed the test. Or So if my son, because my son does not like math, right? He's He, he can do it if you apply pressure to him to do it. But in general, he does not like math right so we're gonna trim this down just a scotch you see right here these cars are always off so we're gonna trim this off a little bit and um move on to the next thing so i had to i had to have a meeting with the teachers you don't know how i had to get in touch with the teacher i had to contact the principal they each grade has their own like little principal i had to contact the principal for the teacher to call me because i am under the impression that they scared of me did i ever get these ladies this impression to be afraid of me no i'm always nice to them i'm always speaking i'm never like the crazy parents that call up to the school and act a fool that would have been my mama not me i had to actually call the principal and say the teacher ain't contacting me and she was like well how long has it been i was like it was in january january i'm going to ink this up and do this one i want to um put this little piece right there so the teacher called me we made an appointment I set it up and she was like, I don't know why he's doing that because he knows how to do the thing. And my thing is, if he's getting a C, you need to, a C, he need to, you need to contact me. I don't care that it's passing. I need to know why he's getting a C. Is he not comprehending? Like, does he not speak math? Which he doesn't. I've later found out that he doesn't speak math. He only speaks video games, which I can understand because I'm a gamer, but I also know how to read. So yeah, that's not going to work for me. I'll trim this down a little bit more. But when I was in elementary school, I uh, I did very well in school. So I know I'm not the same person that he is, but I want him to do well in school too. Uh, okay, oh my God, no, you have to go back. Uh, remember that first one that they did? They didn't tell anyone until after they did. That's why they started telling one that was dumb, unrelated. But I love that when you cut... It just pops out, right? Because I straight up told you they went effing stupid. Yeah, you should hear the crap she's complaining about already. And sad thing is, it's been the same since free. Oh, great. You need to stamp more stuff in color. I feel, I love that color. I love the look. You need to stamp more stuff in color. Oh, you like, you like this? Yeah, this is a nice, uh, it's very pretty background. Now we're going to ink up the edges. Yeah, I, what I always try to do is show people, even though people know, but you don't need a bunch of stuff to create a card that you're proud of. You don't need all of that extra stuff. It's nice to have to help you create better, um, but you don't need it. Also, I think Deb asked about the scanning cut. Yeah, I have a scanning cut, but in order for me to scan it, could I have to go into the, like I went and got that T, I have to go and load up the machine because it's not ready. I have to go load the machine up and everything. If I had been thinking ahead of time, I would have stepped out a bunch of images and scanned and cut them. The only thing is the scanning cut only cuts solid. So like right here, for example, I would have to go in and connect these lines because they won't cut it like that and i think i want this here because we had this little space so we can cover up that space just like that yep so let's go ahead and glue this down let's see uh, yeah it's like simple but not too simple yeah the color gives the old timey look yeah um one day, Deb, I'm going to have my sugar honey iced tea together. One day. Today ain't that day, though. <laughs> One day, I'm going to have it together. And we're like, okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and switch the camera to the scanning cut. No, I don't ever want to be that uh, high tech. 
I think sometimes we lose our way in too much techie. And then, you know what happens? Technology fails us. And guess what? We're back to fussy cutting. <laughs> but back to what Samara said, a lot of scanning, cut, a lot of, um, what is that word? Cricket stuff. Cricket is like abundant right now. And it, it's saturating the market. And I don't know. I don't. I don't want you to make me a mug. You know. I prefer a card that you decide to stamp out and do. I don't need a mug because you got a fancy machine. You're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create everybody in this. I don't need a tumbler. I got a lot of mugs in the refrigerator in the cabinet already. I need to go through and be like, okay, I can get rid of the dear one, but not the Snoopy one. I get rid of this one, but not that one. This one says this on it. I got to keep that. I don't want to get rid of the other thing. We're going to put one more on this side, like right there. Mugs are cool when a person makes them. Yeah, I don't want a handmade mug because that means I can't wash it in a dishwasher most of the time. Have to go have a great week, everyone. Samara, I will harass you later if I need to. I don't think I need to, though. But if I do, I will. <laughs> All right, let's see. I pulled out some foam tape earlier. Did I? I thought I did. Did I not? No. Also, another enabler. Look, this is a dollar forty nine. Look how much tape we get. That's a lot of tape. So if you're at Hobby Lobby and you happen to be thinking about getting some tape, buy it. They they reduce the price. This used to be more than this, but they cut the price back. So that's good. Because you know they don't put these on sale anymore. The papery shop used to be uh the paper studio and they don't put them up for sale so i got it because i was like this is a lot in my in my head i this is going to sound very uh biased of me but i'm like this gotta be better than the dollar tree stuff and the dollar tree is a dollar and a quarter and i get way more than this from the dollar from just, you know, go and buy it and see for yourself and come back and let me know. I'm really going to miss Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning introduced me to a lot of stuff. They also introduced me to uh, not want to spend money. I saw somebody post my last Dollar Tree haul. I was like, it ain't no even no sense to watch it because I can't go to the Dollar Tree. And then I'm in the, the card swap group I'm in. Uh, they're like, yeah, I just got noticed from them saying that this is their, you know, they're, they're selling fixtures and everything. What time should you plan to shoot for the stars? Uh, what time? Uh, 10. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Probably 10 40. Cause I'm going to be getting off shortly. Cause remember I told y'all I had an appointment at 10 30. Well, I don't know if you were here yet. I have an appointment at 10.30. So in 10, 20 minutes, it is updating right now. I think I'm going to put this in the middle. Yeah, like Moni. Yep, right there in the middle. Um, and then card base. Oh, great. I didn't trim enough off. Okay. What are you talking about? Uh, Hoob's obsession. My obsession is not with Fallout. It's with The Sims. Get it right. <laughs> it's always going to be The Sims, Pinky. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. My obsession is always going to be with The Sims. I might not act like it, but don't say nothing bad about them. We're going to be fighting. All righty. This was a fun card. I feel like I need to pop up thanks and let's ink the edge. Yeah, I think it would look a lot better if I had um, embossed it. So we'll work on some embossing pretty soon. Let's see. We're going to try to get these two cards made, though, really quickly. I mean, we already got both of them made. We just need to get a base. So now we just put this on a... Anyone have some stamps that they have, like a large stamp that you think that you might want to do something like this? I always check our dis out Discord, but I never see y'all there. We haven't been in Discord a lot recently, I don't think. Um, Chris, are you are your roles right? If your roles aren't right, you won't see us. Although we have, well, I haven't been. I've been sleeping. But we were in there a couple of days ago, two days ago was it then i went and took a nap and woke up at one o'clock in the morning i thought we was in there yesterday no wait what is today today is tuesday sunday we were definitely in there sunday night last night we were simming yeah i'll be in there today wink wink all right let's do it all right we're going to pop this up, y'all. How are we going to pop it up? I don't know yet. And you know what? I have some purple ribbon. I should have used ribbon, Deb. Dang it. The ribbon police going to get me. Not Deb. Deb, not the ribbon police, but shoot. I just pulled the ribbon out, and I don't know what I said. It ain't this about a stinky. That's all right. And where the foam tape go? That's what I really need to know. Oh, I used it all. I sure the heck did, didn't I? But I thought I pulled out the oh, never mind. We're gonna make this uh quick. Cause they'll call and be like, you didn't answer the phone. Updating my game right now. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you might have to delete some stuff off. Dang it. I definitely have some chiffon ribbon, Deb. And I had told my, I had pulled out some ribbon. I was like, you're going to start. You know, I'm chastising myself for buying ribbon and not using it. I'm like, you're going to start using this ribbon. Because what's the use in having it if you're not going to use it? And I was saying to myself, yeah, you're right, you know. Not like that, but I, was like, mm -hmm, I shouldn't have. I'm thinking like, yeah, I should have never bought it. All right. I think I'm going to use some green because I feel like we need a little bit of green. I hate being against the clock now. Uh, but I don't want these knuckleheads to call and I not answer the phone. Let's see. This green is too green, too dark. Let's see, though. You know, I'm not sure uh, for people that use gems. I've been into liking to use two separate, two or three different sizes. I don't know why. Like these three right here, I like that. Uh, let's see. I have, yeah, I have too much ribbon and need to use it, so I'm using it everywhere. See, and that's what Deb. I'm not. I'm not comfortable using a ribbon like you. Like I've watched. You know, when you used to live stream, and I've watched you make a project, and I was like, now why did not I think of that? I could have used my ribbon. And so I always like, okay, you're going to use a ribbon this time, but I never um, use it like that. I'm kind of like, huh, I'll do it next time. Because in my head, the ribbon should have went across here, like right here. I never want to put a ribbon on top on the last layer of the card. I always want to put it on the first layer of the card because I feel like that looks better. But I've seen where people have taken their ribbon and just kind of plopped it. I was going to tie a bow. Oh, my gosh. It 
if I had found the ribbon, but I don't even know what I did with it now. I have some anchor uh, ribbon. I'm going to be making a sea themed little junk journal. And I want to use that. I'm, I'm sorry if y'all can't see. I just pulled it to the edge so I could see. Since I don't have my little pickup with me. All right, let's see. Dot. Yeah, that is one card. I don't. I, I'm not going to cut this one up. I want to put this in a book. I'm going to have to glue it in the book. I'm going to have to make this a pocket in the book, y'all, because it's not going to work. All right. So we have done two projects. We did three, but um, we didn't make this a card. I am don't want to be missing their phone calls. I do have a phone on mute. I hope that y'all have enjoyed today. It was great seeing y'all. I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I really, really appreciate it. I should be back next Tuesday unless it's the last day of the month. And I'm not sure. I don't think it is. Um, but if it is, then we'll have a project coming up and that would be the snooze it or lose it. But I want to say thank you for watching. And until next time, happy crafting.